just another quick useful function that um, I find is really helpful in Bluebeam is the ability to extract data from PDFs. Um, this is a material schedule from a job I'm taking off currently and um, I've got all the plot names and plot numbers and all the different uh, material finishes. Some have got weatherboarding, some are all brick. Um, so it's really handy to be able to put this into a format that's going to aid my takeoff. And what I do is basically if I go into a file and I go into export and I also go in then to Excel workbook and I select entire document, give it a name, let's just call it test save it on the desktop save what you'll see now is Bluebeam will take that PDF and it will convert it into a spreadsheet which has popped up off screen now we've got that spreadsheet and we can use it to manipulate the data within so I just really want to know plot numbers plot types and finishes I can just get rid of all of this hide sorry about ways but I've got all my plot types and what have you here and again this is useful for just as I'm sure you're aware filtering so if I want just to look at all the say carver types I know which ones are all carvers and I know which ones are brick finish they all seem to be brick finish so if I wanted to look at say a Chandler I know they're all brick as well. Let's find one with a try and find one with a weather boarding on it. Just so we can see. Yeah, there we go. So some of these plots are a mixture of brick and weather boarding. So it's just handy to be able to identify those and then compare them on the plan to um, narrow down all the thumbing through drawings when you're doing your takeoff. So that's one use for it. Um, you can take that a stage further as well. Um, just look at this as a, a for instance. And again, rather than just taking whole pages, I believe in here somewhere there is a a lintel schedule, which. Again, can we get there? This is what you get nowadays, you get the kitchen sink and all. Uh, right, I'm sure there's a little schedule in here somewhere, bear with me. Here we go, no radiators. If you're a plumber, yeah, that might be useful. So what you can do here, very similar thing is file, export, Excel workbook. This time just select a region of the page and you just go on to select the bit you want, which is this little schedule. Save it. I think it was a Cooper type, wasn't it? Save it in desktop. Again, same thing will happen, and it will pop into a spreadsheet, and you will have um, the little schedule that's in, it's already in the spreadsheet, and you can use it to uh, to format um, your own little schedule, and, and you can bring this straight into your takeoff if you want, or if you're not doing deducts, you can you can manipulate the. The, the dimensions in the um, columns 
to suit yourself. It's a really handy um, function and does save an awful, awful lot of time. You can do it for pad stones, you can do it for steel beams, whatever is in a tabular form in PDF. You can grab it into a spreadsheet and, and make better use of it. I hope that's um, helpful. If you need any more info, get in touch. Add to that last, um, obviously the um, fact that these cells have got um, this text in them, you can't then use that in a multiplication formula. Um, so you can just go through and delete all those millimetres, but there are several websites you can search that will give you a uh, certain functionality um, what will strip characters out of um, the uh, the adjacent cells I think I've got one here I used recently and if I go copy and I go um, between the right cell paste you can see there that's that's taken out the millimeters and it will do so on all the others also so you can then use them in uh, calculations obviously just make sure that uh, you've appended the right amount of uh, decimal places to the formula um, but yeah just a, a, a another thing that will just save you loads and loads of time. I just thought I'd quickly show you that as well.